panda. It's basically a donut cake. That was the most amazing thing that I've ever seen. Oh, no. They've got to dress him up. Oh, yeah, they're dressed up. <laughs> Welcome to the next day in Florida. <laughs> They're all in the pool. Lovely blue sky, even my dad's getting into it. Sorry, Brenda. Sorry. <laughs> Brian's throwing things at me, Auntie Brenda. Um, nice blue sky today. Just a couple of um, clouds in the sky. Brian's just throwing a noodle at Brenda, not to glasses off, just can't find them. Um, so, what are we doing today? We're going to Universal Studios. So we're gonna go and spend the rest of our money on some um, Mardi Gras snacks, but one of our friends told us she went yesterday, Mardi Gras finished, so we'll have to spend it on normal snacks. I wanna try and get on barn as well. So um, tonight we have a meal, a show on International Drive. What's it called, Nick? Uh, Titro Martini, I think. Titro Martini, something like that. It was the one that Jane McDonald went to on her show when she came to Florida. Um, so the six of us are going there tonight. Uh, so let's get off to Universal. Ten twenty eight AM, and we're here. These are the uh, queues at the moment. Not looking too bad. Mm. Spider-Man. King Kong. No. E.T. E.T. I think. King Kong's way at the other end. Right, I then, think Spider-Man. I've gone for E.T. Do you think Spider-Man? I think Spider-Man. Well, have you seen something? This is E.T. No. I think Spider-Man. Oh no, I already know it's not going to be E.T. <laughs> Why? Because E.T. is just on my right hand side and we're going far down. Oh, does that mean you cheated when we were down the ramp? <laughs> saw the ET and thought, oh, I'm gonna have... So you did? <laughs> yeah, the ET. You're cheating, Gab. So as you're right now, I think it's gonna be Spider-Man. Bye, ET. I don't know what the next one is. I don't think it's Spider-Man. I think it's King Kong. I should've gone no, with King out. Kong. I, I should've uh, gone with my original. King I think Kong. Spider-Man. Oh, no, it's Cat, Cat in the Hat. Cat in the Hat. Both wrong. Right, we've parked up Cat in the Hat 4 5 day, just in case we forget we had to watch this video back. Well, you would do. Um, right, so we're just walking in. So this morning we're going to meet uh, a lovely lady who helped me when my mum was poorly. Um, get her onto, or try to get her onto some sort of medical trials. It didn't work out unfortunately, but I've never really met her and we've chatted quite a lot on Instagram and I know she's in Universal today. Um, her name's Kerry, so we're going to go and basically sort of say hello and just thank her really. She's got a little son called Alfie. Yes. Who lo loves this shirt. He because does. see Nick on it. It's called my, it's it. called my Alfie shirt now. Yeah. So I've said, don't tell him that we're going to, we're going to turn up. She said he's dressed in the same shirt, so I've put mine on specially. Yeah. So we're going to surprise him hopefully. What snacks we having? Please. Part of a crepe. Oh, no, Can't you feel in the food booth? I'm pulling them out to share one because they are riddled, they are literally like a full meal these Yeah, things. they are really good value, those crepes, but they are very filling. Please. to meet there. Never seen that film. Which character? Trolls. Right, we're going to meet Alfie. He's got his shirt on, bless him. <laughs> Hi. Hi. You're not expected to see me. <laughs> Matching shirts and everything. <laughs> Little Universal Ducks here. <laughs> right, these two twins are going on uh, Jimmy Fallon. We've not been on it yet this trip, we do like that ride. But we're going straight on here. Good. No, 
all queuing, no waiting, straight on. Blood pressure's abnormal, I'm sorry, this simply isn't a suitable ride for you. I'm Sarah, and in case you're wondering, it's S A R A. That ride is now a brand new ride for me because every single scene in there we recognise from yeah. New York, didn't we? we? Like, we've been there. We went there, we went there, we're there. We, we saw the there. park when we walked past with the buzzers. Yeah. We saw the Times Square, we saw the tube entrance, and then uh, down the street, and then the Jimmy's Pizza as yeah. well. Just looking at merch now, love all this um, rainbow. Peace, love, universal merch. Is that a candle? Yeah. Oh, it's one of those uh, crack. Oh, that's nice actually. It's a bit lemony. Yeah, it's like a one. I don't need a bag, I'm not buying a bag, but I do quite like that bag. Good vibe. Too big. Together strong. I too like big, that. too I like big. That as well. I like all this. Uh... Hi, Panda. Hi. <laughs> I've never even heard of Panda before this ride. <laughs> Right, we said goodbye to those guys. It's their last day here today. They're flying home tomorrow. Um, so it was nice to find, nice to finally meet them. And um, Alfie loved the ride. I could hear him screaming. Um, we're going to now head around and just do some rides. Et, Bon, uh, what else? Snacks. That's not a ride. Snacks. Et, Bon, and snacks. Okay. Because we've got a, a busy day today. Yeah. We want to go to the counter outlet to get a friend a uh, gift. If I can uh, find something out I really like. And then we're going out for the meal tonight. So the, the uh, parents are just chilling in the uh, pool today. We're building up the stamina. Yeah, so we're just going to do a few, a um, couple of easy rides today, a couple of snacks, and um, see how the day goes. Okay. <laughs> It's only a 25 minute wait, we're gonna go into the candy factory. Fresh roasted nuts, one bag for 7.50, or buy two, get one free. Smell up. Oh. oh my god. It smells good in here. Oh. That's a big pink donut, but it's 9.99. How much are the um, not that Disney price. ones? Not that price, but it is massive. It is massive. You wanna share one of them? No, I do not. Oh. I'm a little peckish, I don't know what I want though. I don't want one of these uh, apples, they do look good, but uh, it's too early for something like that. Ooh, there's them chicken patty things that we have. Oh, in yeah, there. yeah, yeah. Look at that. What the hell is Jaws, that? Jaws, fish bowl, red velvet cake. Oh, look at that. A whoopie pie. Oh, yeah. They're, They're only $4 in Disney. That's smaller, I know. Yeah. It's not like Disney to be cheaper on something. Snickerdoodle. Right, I didn't fancy anything sweet in there, so we're going to head round to. Um, I could have had some of that. Well, you could, but. He wanted to him one <laughs> He wanted a Rice Krispies square to with share, sprinkles. And he knows I don't like them. That's you do like them. I don't like them. So we're going to go round to Harry Potter World and Green got some 25 minute wait time. We'll get a snack round there. Right, shall we go on the ride first and yeah. then have something to do it afterwards? Yeah, let's do it. Right, we're off. 25 minutes by back side. <laughs> it's 45 minutes and it still says 25 on the door. But what did you think? Every time I ride that, I always think it's a little bit better than the previous time and because we've not done it for so long, it was really I'd good. I've forgotten most of it and it was freaking awesome. Yeah, it was what very is? good. I really like that ride. I always have in mind that I think it's going to be like the, uh, the Mummy, just because of the uh, seat, the carriage and the seats are almost exactly the same. But it's so much better than Mummy because you've got the 3D goggles and I really like that. Time for some snacks! This this tale is undoubtedly one with which you may be familiar. It concerns the fortunes of three brothers. That's good. Nick's been thinking about that donut since he saw it, so we're gonna get it. Giant donut with sweet creamy frosting and sprinkles. It's that big, it's basically a donut cake. Oh, that's so giddy. How's it in comparison? I'm full. You're gonna be full after all that. You're gonna have to share it with me. I'll have a little, I'll have a nibble. I'll have a nibble on a corner. What's it like compared to the big Joffrey's ones? Not the same. Not as nice. It's more, it's more like a Greg's one. This is fattier, quite heavy. More, oh, not. I want to stale, but it's not as fluffy and light as the mm. Disney ones. Right, that was delicious. We've just completely, and utterly demolished and devoured that. Couple of little bits left. So, so we went and got another one for the parents. So that's just for them. I'm not sure this little idea, though. I've got to carry this all, all the way around with me now. It might melt. We might even eat it before we get um, home anyway. So we're just going past ET. We're gonna we're gonna head on there just for the aircon, not for any other reason. It's a good, it's an okay ride. I like it. So there's walls up all around ET at the moment. Uh, usually going over there, I think. 
Uh, so we're going in the end. Uh, we're going in to the exit. Um, so it's enter and exit in the same place. It's broken down. <laughs> we're just about to go on and said it's delayed or something, so we can't go on. Yeah, that's a damn shame. Oh, we're really looking forward to that. I know. We're really struggling to find anything to eat. Other than popcorn, hot dogs and burgers, which you can get everywhere, we're really struggling. Now the they've got rid of the Mardi Gras thingy bobs, food trucks. The best thing you can, we've actually found was the uh, crepe stand, the savoury crepes that they do there. They're so sweet with the brisket. Unfortunately, it's a massive cr um, crepe, and when you've eaten one of them, you're absolutely stuffed for the rest of the day, and we don't want that. Yeah, because we've just eaten a massive donut. You've devoured most of it. What's that pink banana? There's a... I don't know, I think it's Spongebob Squarepants, friend. There's a lot of um, character meats. Look, there's um, Beetlejuice there. Oh, let's go up and have a look. A lot of character meats today. Let me know in the comments, guys, what do you think of Beetlejuice? I've never really liked I the film. I hated the film. I think I just hate Michael Keaton, that's why. Hate is a very strong word. Well, dislike then, with a very strong passion. Oh, great. <laughs> 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 Assuming that's not broke down. I'm looking forward to seeing this. I think we've only ever done it once. once. We? We've and queued about three times, but we've actually yeah. watched it once. And I'm looking forward to doing it because it, you don't have to put 3D glasses on, but it does play with your head when it starts. The screen is so super high res that you don't know what's going off at first. But I'm looking forward to doing it. So it's an 8K screen, what Lee meant to say. Um, but the resolution is so high that they, have, they also have objects in front of the screen that rotate that make it look like it's 3D, but when it's not. I always remember this when it was Terminator. Oh, I do miss the Terminator. They still have it in Tokyo, apparently. Bad that we're going to go on it, but it's, it was close for refurb. Ooh. Feeling a bit faint. Oh, look at that. Never noticed that before. The film on the, on the TV, window. TV, yeah. Like the fitted plasma screens in. Oh, this is the, I remember this room from Terminator, where you did the big pre-show. I do miss that. I wish they'd just kept it. I know. It'd be nice if they have a, a little bit um, of an area in Epic Universe where they put some vintage the, rides. Vintage rides like Back to the Future, Terminator 3D. Or even another day, day where they switched it back. Universal Legacy Land, that's what it should be called. Get right into directors. But no food on the ride, sir. No food. Not on the ride. Homeland Security Legal Liaison, Nicolette Parsons. Thank you for agreeing to join this unique situation analysis team. Information Room uses a new protocol for enhanced virtual surveillance. I think I saw this once before when I came out of there. $25. Just walk, I know. Like that though. What did you think? Well, I need some time to process it, but that was the most amazing thing that I've ever seen. Well, I saw it last time, but I got to see more of the detail this time and trying to figure out how it works, and it still bumbles me. I'll tell you more when we get outside. It is good that <laughs> the screen technology is just so amazing. It blows, the technology blows anything else away, even like Rise of the Resistance, because the screen is just stunning. It was difficult to tell what was on the screen and what was actually yeah. in front of you in, the, in real life. It's a like, it's a cross between the Matrix, the most high resolution screen you could ever possibly imagine, and you, because you sat so far away, you couldn't tell whether it was real or not. It's hard, yeah. to, it's hard to think, like, was... imagine the stage, right, and this was showing on the stage, and then the Somebody screen rolled behind it, and the go. The, this, well, that, but if, this, if, this, if the, um, the backdrop rotates, the object in front of it, yeah. the real object rotates, and, and you, it looks it, like you're spinning around it something. It takes a few seconds. It looks like the whole room is turning. It takes a few seconds for your eyes to get used to it. There were a couple of occasions in there where I held my seat because I thought, am I moving, or is yeah. the room moving, or is it the screen? It's stunning, absolutely amazing. There's nothing like it in any other park. It's difficult to explain yeah, it's it. It's just something you've just got to get on and see it for yourself. Really. And I no matter where wish. you see it, it's still the same. Well, yeah, because we were sat right at the end and it didn't bother. It, it was just like we were sat in the middle, really. Yeah. 
still wish it were Terminator themed though. Yeah, it, that wasn't, would be amazing. it wasn't 3D, but it was 3D without yeah, you the glasses. Wear 3D glasses. It's, it's just stunning. It was disorienting in some places to the point where I said to you, didn't I? I said, oh my god, I felt funny there. Right, so we're doing a few things now. Uh, we're going to head out to Character Outlet because we've got a few gifts to get. And then um, we'll see what time it is because we're going out tonight then, so we may just head back, have an hour chill, and then head out to our show meal later tonight on International Drive. Chico Martini. We'll tell you a little bit more about it later when it's not as noisy. All the beans are still there from Mardi Gras. I can't remember if they leave them there all year or not. Well, at some point, when Mardi Gras ended, they'll get them off, put them back in recycling, and get them out. Oh, yeah, you think so, yeah? Absolutely tons of them down there. The trees, literally. I wonder if a few cars have had them on their... On their uh, Probably. You always <laughs> said that on last time we filmed this tree. Uh, Even though the only thing I've had to eat um, since this morning, and it's now 23, was a quarter of that pink donut. Get lost, quarter. Hmm? I said get lost quarter, you rammed half down your blue lane. <laughs> I didn't have half. You did have half. Use the right you kept, two lanes you kept, to turn you right started off with a quarter drive. and then you had some more and more and more and more. I, I did. did. Carry on speaking. Even though that's all I've had today, a little bit of donut and that coffee, I'm a bit stuffed now. So um, I will be um, saving myself now until our meal tonight. So we're going to, what's it called Nick? Uh, right Teatro Martini, right which, right right which is on Teatro Martini. Yeah, which is towards the top end of, in fact we're quite close to it now. It's near of, the McDonald's. Yeah, near that, uh, the biggest McDonald's in the world, um, it, up at the top of International Drive. We did see, as I said, on um, Jay McDonald's Florida videos. Continue on International and, um, Drive for one mile. Chuckle a little bit. Um, we knew my mum and dad, well, the first thing, when we saw it, we were like, oh, that sounds quite a good idea, actually, a show meal. We looked at reviews and stuff and it gets, did you get five out of five? Almost five out of five, yeah. Yeah, so I thought, oh, that'd be good for them. And my mum and dad love Jay McDonald, they love watching her. So we text them and said, you fancy this? It were on Jay McDonald's and they replied that, yep. So um, it should have been about eighty dollars each, but I looked on Groupon and they yeah, had a, a, um, a coupon on there. Well, not a coupon, but an offer. Yeah, for forty nine. So and it's it's a three course meal mm -hmm. uh, and a show. Yeah, I think it's like a magic show. Um, acrobat, acrobat singing. We'll know more obviously when we see it. Um, we'll we'll vlog what we can. Um, so there is a lot of offers actually on Groupon if you look for, for, Orlando. for the Orlando area. There's, there's quite a, a lot of stuff on, on Groupon. It's All your popular attractions are on there. Yeah. Um, so are we going to go past it this way? Uh, we're going to go past the junction. It's literally just near where the... McDonald's is. It's just uh, yeah. a bit further down left. Almost where the Rosen Inn is, where Jane right, stayed. Okay. Obviously, we'll show you more tonight. Um, we're actually heading to Prima Outlets now to have a look at the character outlet. But this is where we are at the moment, at the top of I Drive. Kind of the top. I don't know, is this the centre of iDrive? Oh, it's more towards the top, it's isn't it? It's close to the top. It's yeah. out of the tourist area. Um, Cold Cold Key there, where our friends Jade and Alex are staying at the moment. Obviously, I've not seen it for myself, but they don't rate it. They say uh, they're not loving it there. I think yeah. I think you've got to pay daily to park, and then you've got to pay for the water park on top of your. Yeah. Uh, so it's a water resort. So there's like a you get your own little mini water park, but um, I do know that they're in Volcano Bay today, probably having a better time. Um, so yes, we're gonna turn right here. And it's just left. Where right. we're going, yeah, is a little bit further down. Right, here we are. It's just a quick stop for the character outlet. There's no such thing. Come here. I'm gonna have a little look. I've just got a couple of gifts to get, if they've got anything. Um, if not, we'll just have to go to World of Disney. You don't need any more sketches, you don't need any more shoes, buy one get one free. Nick didn't find any yesterday so he wants a quick look. Buy one get one 50% free, that's what I meant. Uh, not free. Buy one get one 50% off. I got those yesterday because I like white ones. Uh, so I got those and these. Uh, the blue ones which are those. I got those so buy one get one 50% uh, off. Nothing? No. Oh, we may have seen something. How about some of these, Nick? Get lost. Right, let's see what they've got. Literally, three feet through the door. $178. What? Put it back. <laughs> oh, it's that Dorothy Burke one, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, that's a, a real Dooney and Bork. Same thing, Dorothy Burke. 
Which is not good. Disappointment doing any lounge flybacks that I wanted to have a look at. There's only Dorothy Burke. I'm afraid. I'm afraid you've um, misplanned this one. I found a lounge flyback, but that's not what I wanted. I don't think no. that she'll like that. 39.99. Unless she has the jacket to go with it. <laughs> In which case, she needs a motorbike to go with that. So while he's mooching around trying to find that, we're just having a look, see what we've, uh, what's new that's come in since we last time moved. We were in last week, and I think they get new deliveries on a Wednesday. Don't recall seeing this last time. Seven Dwarves, mine train kind of carriage. Not even sure what that is, to be honest. It's a, uh, it's a dish, a floral, a figural um, trinket dish set. There you go. If you fancy a trinket dish set, you know where to come. I don't fancy and a trinket dish set, or whatever you said. Table runners, bookends, lots of um, things like Lee got. How much is that one? That's roughly the same price as what you paid, isn't it? Time. Well, you got the universal one instead. I wonder, the thing is, right, why is it always mugs that's left in here? They're obviously not popular if they come into the outlet. Everybody loves a mug. It's because they, they keep producing new ones so they get rid of old ones. Disney Skyliner. What is it? Is it just pizza? A barble? I think it's just there. Uh, oh, it just dangles on your desk. Yeah. And then you've got all these phone covers. I do like that one, actually. That one's got a built-in pop socket yeah. look. What's it for? The iPhone. They're all for iPhone. That's They're very bad, biased. Actually. It's, um... It was 19.99 now 7.99. But it's just as useless at 7.99 as it is at 19.99. <laughs> so they have started making them, as I said, with pop sockets built in. And if you look on the side and all, they're actually they're not they don't stick out. They're actually dug into the plastic, so um, they don't get caught when you put them in your pocket. Which is why I took my um, pop socket off. Lee's acting like it's a next Boxing Day sale. Ooh. I said you're acting like it's a next Boxing Day sale. Run around, isn't it? Yeah, but you're running around. You're not getting out. Because I know what I'm looking for, and it's not here. Bye. Put it back. Put that it would back. Fail. I've just found nothing. So they do have them. It's just this designer brand. Two hundred and fifty dollars. That's for the tiny one and all. I love my friend, but I'm not spending two hundred fifty dollars on a uh, handbag. Eighty dollars for that. $99 for the DVC um, purse. I do like that though. Friggin' hell, you wouldn't even get your annual pass in that. Now that, I would buy. Good enough. Well, I know what cast connections, they have things like that. You can buy like old um, figurines and... Like, That'd suit the lodge, that. It would, I could just have it. That side of the um, TV stand. Put him on the sofa. Mm -hmm. Right, we're heading back to the villa for a little chill. I've got some, a little bit of editing to do. Um, <clears throat> so it was a bit of a fail, that character outlet. Sometimes they have lounge flies, sometimes they don't. But the Marvel one was quite nice, but I don't think our friend would like like a black and red one. One lounge fly for the whole yeah. store. Maybe what we should have done is gone up to the one at um, Top Well, yeah, there's drive. another one, isn't there, as well, yeah. We were probably closer to that one as well. Maybe. Um, so I have got it in my head what kind of bag I want to get my friend. It's a present, it's a gift. So I did put a, uh, a picture on Facebook of the one that I got my mum from Grand Floridian and my friend did, just in general, a chat while I was chatting to her, said, oh, that lounge fly was, was very nice that you got your mum. So I'm, if we get a chance to go back to that shop, I'm going to buy her that. Um, so we'll have to go back to the Grand Floridian shop at some point, Nick. Oh, joy. I don't know how we'll get there. Magic, uh, we'll have to get the monorail we'll from Magic there. Kingdom. We've only just got a, a week and a little bit left. So we've got a, yeah, a calendar round with everything that we want to want to do in it. Um, Saturday night when we have the meal. Tomorrow I think we're going to a vineyard. Saturday we have a Patreon meet. Sunday we have a water park. Um, and stressing we'll be, me out. He's stressing <laughs> me out. <laughs> we're meeting the Bazers twice in all that. Um, so lots to do in our last week. If you fancy buying one of these nice colourful houses near the Margarita Resort, um, they start from the mid 600,000s. We'll have two. I do believe the, uh, the time of buying cheap in Florida has come and gone. But uh, they do look nice. Little pool there, I can see. They look very rammed in, they're almost like terraced yeah, houses. Aren't they? Yeah, they are like terraced houses by the looks of it. If you've got a spare 600k, you can get one of them. Right, it's a while later, I've just been doing some editing and Nick's been uh, doing a few boots and bats. So we are heading out tonight in about 10 minutes. Nick's going to give you some info about where we've booked. So as we said, we saw it on Jim McDonald's. 
Uh, we actually thought it was the Mango Cafe, which yeah. actually got really bad reviews. And then when I looked and watched the show from um, Jim McDonald mm. in Florida, mm. we found that it was called Teatro Martini. Had a look, found it on, we're gonna book it, and then I thought, I'll just check for vouchers and discounts. And it came up on Groupon for forty nine dollars instead, Always worth of, instead of eighty. Yeah. So uh, we booked it. We uh, so this is this is the write up on it. I might as well just read it out. Um, it's a highly interactive show that features a variety of performers from around the world, including aerialists, hoops, acrobats, jugglers, singers, dancers, comedians, all in one place. And it's for eighteen years um, plus. Although, if you want to go there, uh, if you like what you see on our video tonight, um, oh, there's a lizard there. Where? Just outside the, the I thought you meant inside. Um, they do also do pirate shows, don't they? For all the family, family and kids, yeah. Um, so Same venue, but different different event. We've never really done anything like this in Florida before, so it's all new for us. No. Um, we're going to get an Uber. It's down the bottom of I Drive, so it's going to be about half top an of hour I drive. to get there. Yeah, top of I Drive. Um, so, do you want to get us Uber ordered for six people? Uh, no, because if I do it, we'll not get to the end of the road because it's gated and we're. Oh, we're going to walk. In. Okay. So we have to walk to the end, get out the gate, and then order it from the road. Okay. Keeping all of that. Just going to have a little glass of bubbly before we go out. Ooh. Like a wet fart. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Cheers. 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 Here's your good night. Cheers. <laughs> We're doing what many people in Florida don't do. Walking on the gate. <laughs> Walking to the gate to get an Uber um, up to the top of I Drive and then we're going to all have a little drinky poos. Um, so we've ordered our we've ordered our meal already. Um, so I think You've I got went chicken for Caesar salad, haven't you? Chicken Caesar salad and Tomato either, soup for me. Either chicken for main meal or a chicken kebab. In fact I think we ordered a chicken kebab. They call them chicken they kebabs. Don't, they don't have chicken kebabs. They don't have chicken it's a beef kebabs. kebab. Oh beef kebab. And you ordered chicken, I said we, I think we said we'd share. I didn't order chicken. I ordered chicken then, I think we yeah. said we'd share. Yeah. Anyway. Well, and then, because uh, I've seen a picture of them, they look nice. They're really well sharing. Yeah. And then I think it's a, uh, a brownie for dessert. And it's a grated cheesecake for an additional supplement. Okay. It says get there, what, a couple of hours before Two the show? Two hours or something? before. For pre dinner drinks. So you can get shit faced, basically. I don't know whether those, any drinks are included or not, but we'll see when we get I there. I don't think so. Is it Teatro Martini? Teatro Martini. Yeah. Teatro Martini. It's right next door to the Pirate Adventure, which we're going to do on the, on another trip. But tonight we're having the adult one in here. So follow us. Okay. Thank you. Right, come on, Brenda. We've got to say a password. I don't give a damn. What? Go on. Go on. Go on. I don't give a damn. Wait till they get the cum. So we've got to go through this secret door. Go on. <laughs> no. I don't give a damn. <laughs> You've got to wait until no, the comb. Come. Come <laughs> I, I thought I heard something, <laughs> but I wasn't sure. Can I get that one more time? I don't give a damn. <laughs> Can't even anybody can access. Neither do I. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Welcome to Jewel. Thank you for coming. Come on in. Oh my god, this is not what I expected at all. This is not what I expected at all. This is the pre show. I'm just going to get us tables and then uh, have a look at the menu. People are dressed up, I didn't know you have to do that either. Right, we're sat down and we're having our drinks. This is completely different than we uh, expected. So, this area is like a um, holding area. Yeah, it's like the holding area where we have drinks for an hour. It's like a casino. There's casino games and things. We've gone to play blackjack, we can do Gatsby themed. The Gatsby themed, yeah. There's some dueling pianos in the middle, which um, I think they're going to do after the show. So we can come back in and, and watch the dueling piano. There is an after party. I never after mentioned party, that. Yeah. So we've ordered some drinks, which are not included in the ticket price, which we knew. So we've ordered some drinks. Had a bit of a, 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 a mess up so far. My wine was off. My dad's beer was weird. Cloudy. And uh, they brought me the wrong wine to start with. And uh, we asked for two same wines from one man to Brendan. They brought two different wines. But um, we've got them all now after half an hour. It took 15 minutes <laughs> for the first round. So we're going to enjoy these drinks and then we'll uh, let you know how the rest of the night goes. So it's very Downton Abbey in here, like the new era of Downton Abbey, like when they go to London and they have like parties in the hotel. 
like the Gatsby theme, yeah. And um, it's actually supposed to be a speakeasy, so there's no windows or doors in this entire place. Which and when you can to say the password. the password when we came through the door, it was like a little portal, uh, which is what speakeasy is. Speakeasy, for anybody that doesn't know, is like a secret bar that operates in plain sight of everybody else, but nobody knows it's there. A bit like muggles, isn't it? Yeah. Muggles, muggles for alcoholics. Yeah. That makes me so happy. Uh, a couple of things. If you are about to go into Teatro Martini, that's going to be in about five to six minutes. So if you have your receipts handy, please have those ready when you go into the theater. We will escort you into the theater in a few minutes. Um, if you are having a cocktail, you can take those cocktails in with you. So please don't slam them and go. We definitely don't want that to happen. Uh, but uh, again, we will make an announcement when the door is open. You will be lining up by the bookshelf over in the front of the room. Uh, and we will be seeing you in the other room. Right, it's time to go in. Get our table. Is there a secret door? Is she just, just a go to the, um, uh, yeah, go to the bookcase in the corner? Oh yeah, there's a secret door. I just love this. The theme is amazing. Alright, let's go in. It doesn't look like there's going to be many people in here today. There's only like 30 people in this room and there's two shows of the people in here. It's Thursday evening. Is this like half of a bookcase that's like swung inwards? So these are not real books. They're, well they are, but they're glued in. I think it's going. Is it slid in the wall? Oh, I like these um, speakeasy things. Yeah. This is this is yeah, this is not what Jim McDonald were in. Well, it better be because you looked it up. Right, so we're on purple five, which is our table. It's not very busy in here tonight at all. They've got a lot of charger plates on the table, like it was like we would have at Christmas. God, it's not cold, so it's really icy air to here, and everybody was moaning how freezing cold it was. It's just bliss in here. So I'm gonna watch the Jim McDonald episode when we get back again because I'm not sure. This was the. She said she came to Teatro Martini, but when I watched the scene, I can't recall her being sat in this. It's kind of like a, a western. Are you sure you've got the right place? We'll find out when I look. Does it look like him, Mum? What look? Jim McDonald came. I don't know if I've seen that one. To you be honest. Are you sure? Does it? You could take Jim. Right? You could you could <laughs> take him to McDonald's and they think about the same thing. <laughs> I don't know. So, as it's the place where Jim McDonald came. On our video, at the end of the night, you've got to do what she does when she bursts into song. You can do that. No, Brenda. What song? What song are you gonna sing us? I don't know. <laughs> right, so in the um, the place where we have the show, the uh, first course has turned up. Lee's got a Caesar salad. I've got a tomato biscuit soup, which is basically just a tomato tomato and basil soup. It's missing a bread roll, and you usually get a bit of chicken. You. Caesar salad. But it's just it never said chicken Caesar salad. It's just lettuce and um, croutons so far. So um, we'll see what the main course is like. That soup is absolutely delicious. That is the best tomato soup that I've ever had. It's almost like tomato and basil. Really, really sweet. You can tell it's got like cherry tomatoes in it. Next, I'd like to turn your attention to a very large, round, shiny object. Ooh. Right to the no. Ah, oh, it was one shot. I'm talking about the Teatro Martini Gong, everyone! Ooh, yeah. Now, when that gong is rung, you know the fun has just begun. Teatro Martini Jules! We have ever yeah. Hail, you can try to stop the season's girl, but you know! Stop it. Stop it now. Hey, you Come join us. It's a joke. You should have grabbed the camera before I did. Oh, I knew that was coming. That's why I picked the camera up. You left the lock. They've got to dress him up. They've got to dress him up. I put it all together. Jinx like wants jaws. some male dancers for the show this yeah. year. Okay, uh, so we're gonna call you the Diamond Studs because why not? Um, so here's what that means for you though. We need to see your best audition package. 
Um, and so we want to see your riskiest business of the year. We want you to recreate that famous scene from the movie Risky Business, yeah? I can't. Okay, don't worry. We got uh, we got some demonstration material for you. Here we go. Watch it on. your name friend? Lee. Lee, everyone, it's Lee! Lee. 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 I say we are in Orlando, Florida, the land where dreams come true. When you stop that before we get sued. So I say both of you are winners this evening, yeah. which means you both get to join our show. And your very first act is you get to take off those underwear. to seduce you, oh, and Jeff is going to stop. <laughs> Please just give me your hand, Brenda. Thank you. You never close your eyes anymore when I kiss your lips. There's no tenderness like before in your fingertips. We're trying hard not to show it, baby. But, but, baby. Have we 
we successfully seduced you. Any ache in the quake, any thunder down under? <laughs> I'm taking from the laughter, that's a no. Five stains out! No. Oh. 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 Oopsie oh. is on the floor! Oh. Yeah. Sexy butt! Oh. Sexy butt to oh. the shoulder! Some things Are never you... change, huh? No, they don't. <laughs> so much for romance. Hey, are you okay? <laughs> You look a little clumped. Um, would you like alcohol? Yeah. Oh my god, you do that. It's free. It's free. Get in. It's not blue shot. Yeah. Now, Brenda, because you're our lucky lady, Rob, you was first, but we So, Brenda, now. So, you're back here now, Brenda, and you get your very own blue ball shot. You do not have to drink it right now if you don't want to, but. For Brenda's sake, for everyone having a good night, we're all gonna give a big cheers to Brenda and all of us having a wonderful time. Yay. One, two, three, Yay. cheers! Brenda! Like a stodgy New York style. Mm. Half and half, it's not quite a um, like a baked one. Street. We've kind of not run, but we've kind of walked fast. It's 11:20. Get us staying up this late. So thoughts on tonight? A lot better than I thought it was going to be. When we first got there, and they gave us all the wrong drinks after we'd ordered them, and then stale they wine. gave me stale wine, cloudy and we, beer, and I was like, "What's going off here?" Like cloudy beer. We had to sw switch my dad's. I'm thinking, Ooh, Your mum's wine were wrong. Brenda's were different to your mum's, even though they don't yeah. the same so thing. So we started the evening and I was thinking, this ain't going to be a good night. Then we went and sat down for the meal and we're like, okay, let's get on with it. And then they brought the salad out. <laughs> we all had salad apart from Nick. Nick had soup. Oh, it was delicious, my soup. All our salads were a bit, mm, it was just a place. 
of lettuce leaves with a couple of croutons and I was like oh, and some parmesan and some rubbish. Caesar salad but it wasn't chicken Caesar salad which is what you were expecting but then the show started and it, it was it started off really good and I'm like yeah this is actually good this and then the main meals came and they were really really good steak kebabs or kebabs they were absolutely amazing. In fact, they weren't even steak kebabs, they were beef kebabs. We shared. So Nick got his and I got a chicken, like in a creamy sauce with yeah. mash and vegetables. This, the beef was nicer. I thought the chicken were nicer. I thought the sauce was beautiful. Should have shared then. And we shared it both. No, because I really enjoyed them both. They had piped mashed potatoes as well. Mm. And it was really creamy. And it almost tasted like um, powdered mash. Mm. And then cheesecake came out. Which we actually weren't expecting where I thought it was a brownie. It was supposed to be brownie. The cheesecake was $9 extra. And the cheesecake but... was really good too. You could order extras for a, a additional cost. So Nick got some fries and they were really good too. Southern fried fries as well they were. And then the show just kept getting better and better. So they were dancing, as you saw. Dancing, singing. Getting um, people up. Magic acts. Yes, getting people up. I must have, you thank me later. I must applaud myself and Batty Brenda. He's been watching the video that I put on Instagram about a hundred times where, <gasps> and like, like giggling like, to himself. Well, you know what I mean? You didn't really have a choice. Well, no, I just thought, oh, let's just get on with it. Let's when he dragged you on stage. on stage and he did what he was going to, when he did, this is what you need to copy. I'm like, oh my God, there's no way that he's going to be able to do that. <laughs> and then the other guy did it first. Yeah, the other guy and then did it was his first, turn like, and I was like, oh, oh. I was embarrassed I, for you. I was up there and I'm thinking, I can either be really embarrassed or I can just get on with it and do it. <laughs> so I watched the other guy do it. Thank God he went first. I was like, right, let's just copy that. <laughs> and I did it. And then they spent the entire night trying to get me up there. So they were like, it's his birthday. And all that was, was like, uh, what's your name? Nick. Okay, that's it. Happy birthday. Then we did the dueling piano. Which was good because we liked that because um, we saw one of those in um, New Orleans. Yeah. And all in all, I thought that was a really, really good night. Definitely would recommend it. I would definitely recommend going on Groupon because you get a, a, a bargain deal on yeah. there. And it's quite intimate. It's not like a big crowd no. as well. I thought it was going to be a massive I did. place with I thought hundreds been, of people. I did as well. So did I. It wasn't. But it wasn't anything like that. Yeah. I, I just loved it. I actually loved it. It was something new, something different. Some of that, and it's just off. I literally straight across from the Titanic exhibition. If you're stopping up at Endless Summer on Dockside, it's the perfect location to go there. It's yeah. just literally around the corner. Uh, no, it was an adult show because of the, the because of the uh, the, the, the joke content. content. Mm -hmm. However, there's a pirates one next door, and she told me if you come back and do it in Halloween, they have an Allo the, um, a Halloween overlay mm -hmm. on the pirates show, mm -hmm. and she said it is absolutely fantastic. So thanks for watching today, guys. Hit the like button, click the notification notification bell he's tired drop us a comment below and uh, we'll see you on the next video where we are going to a winery in orlando bye for now